Hello. Right, um, I made the mistake of trying to do everything myself, and that's had to involve tile maps. Uh, so far what I've come to is a solution where I can use an array of numbers uh, and treat these as the coordinates to pull from in the tile map. So as you can see, uh, the first tile here is tile map position 1, 2, so that's 0, 1, uh, 0, 1, 2, so it's going to be that. And then 2, 6 and 2, 7, you can take it uh, upon trust that those will be the tiles of the ladder. So when we run this, as you can see, we get the ladder and the wall. Now this would be a massive pain for me to write myself. I mean, I wrote the rendering, um, but this bit here would be a massive pain to create manually for something more complicated. So what I've done is created a tile map editor. And what this does is uh, given options, including the size and pixels of a tile, so that's 16 by 16, uh, the tile set to pull from, and the name of the uh, tile, tile map I want. Uh, let's actually change this to something a bit more nice, like um, I can just operate at the most basic level on the terminal. Uh, example tile map. Uh, then when we run this, we get this user interface. Uh, which just allows us to select a tile to draw with. So let's say I want this tile, and now we're in drawing mode, so we can draw like this, maybe a few bits here. We don't want a different tile, so I'll put this one here and here. And oh, wait, I didn't mean to put that one there, so, oh, no, this one here, so I can right click to. That's wrong. I shouldn't be doing that. Um, but it's mostly correct. I just need to work out a few small issues, such as that one, which is odd, to be honest. I appear to have accidentally created a mm, strange thing indeed. I, I'm not quite sure what's going on there, but it looks pretty cool. So that's not the point anyway. Uh, also, you can see I've got a preview of what tile it is. I'm going to be drawing with here, so you can see it's the ladder tile now, and I'll have the ladders coming out. Uh, now I'm done, so I can close the window, and you can't see anything because I piped the output into a header file, because the critical detail is that this is a C header file, which I can now include, just like this one here, in my program. And you may not be, and you may be able to tell that these are actually the tiles themselves stored as numbers. Right, I've, I've figured out what that was. All it is is that I'm doing the same thing in two places. This is when you create a function, but this is this here is just setting up uh, to call the put at function, uh, which sets a certain tile at a certain coordinate. Um, and yeah, this probably needs to go into a function, but for now it's okay. And as you can see, uh, when I do the exact same thing I did before, which was right-clicking um, on things, they still disappear properly. And it's all good now, which is nice. And I'm very pleased by how easy this was, at least to do the basics. So, as you can see, I can just make myself a nice little level here. The platform for the player to run on. And that is all good. And as you can see, the tile map is created properly. I'm not quite sure what's going on with that text alignment. Oh, it's because I've got 12s. So I should probably use tabs instead of spaces. Uh, but that's fine. It's all good think. Okay. Thank you for your patience, that's all.